Rand FM. Sure, oh, no, it's definitely not a, a test I, um, I want to remember. But again, it was physically a test that we need to get stuck into the French. But again, uh, I was still a youngster. I, I wanted to make a mark. wasn't a good start, but again, it's not about how you start, it's how you end. And that's the most important thing for me during my career. It's uh, so many times that I fell, but it's the way you, you come back and stand up and work on it. Some days people's got the misperception what is the role of an enforcer. Enforcer is somebody that uh, frustrates the opponents and not somebody that runs in, uh, see there's a little bit of a, uh, a fight going on and some handbags going around and then storm in and then try to uh, show that he's the enforcer. I think uh, the most important thing is when there's a, a scuffle going on, you need to be the middle point of it. Then you realize you're, you're getting there because you need to frustrate the opponents and that's what I learned so much during my career. Sometimes uh, I play the game on the edge, sometimes I, I, I pass that edge and uh, got a little bit of trouble but again till the day that I stop playing in my rugby career I know what's my role to frustrate the opponents at set pieces, drive, line out drives, scrums, uh, you name it. You need to enforce your pack to go forward and to frustrate the opponents but to wear that label, there's a lot of responsibilities. For me to just get onto the pitch and know that I frustrate the opponents again, I know I'm doing my job and again, when, when I get onto the pitch and I'm actually a little bit of a target in the squad, I know I'm a threat for opponents and that's the role I love to play. That I know I'm getting onto the pitch and the, the opposite teammates tell, uh, listen, yeah, yes, we need to look after this. Uh, look after Bucky's and see if he, he gets stuck into something that's not uh, in your in your eyes, not uh, in, in, in the rules. They want to get me off the pitch and that's a threat for the opposition team. And that's how I played my whole career. I, I, I knew that I need to give my best and as soon as I start to become a threat for the opponents, I, I know that I'm starting to get underneath their schemes and I love to play it and, uh, and the role that I played. And uh, like I said, uh, it's, it's, it's a, it was a wonderful career for me. And to walk away from the game injury-free was it's just a, it was a phenomenal uh, thing for me. Definitely, and my just over four years in uh, stint in, in France was my most amazing time in my rugby career. And I decided I'm going uh, abroad and play for Toulon. But when you walk into that uh, club and see the likes of Johnny Wilkinson, Carl Heyman, Matt Gitto, Drew Mitchell and uh, afterwards Brian and the guys came in in Toulon is, uh, and, and what we achieved in Toulon for that uh, three to four years was amazing. Won three Heineken Cup uh, uh, trophies and been in uh, three final top 14s and, and won it once. So it was just amazing uh, and, and, and for me and everybody asked me the same question, why did you decide to retire from uh, Springbok Rugby? And that's what makes you a legend at the end of the day, to know when to stop. So I walked away from the game again and won all the trophies and stuff and then everybody asked me what's my highlight of my career. My highlight of my career was my career.